Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is about choosing the correct fan for an application and showing you guys how dramatic the performance difference can be from choosing the correct cooling solution, whether you're water cooling or air cooling. One of the most important factors to consider when you're choosing fans for your heatsink or for your radiator is the restriction of the cooling object. So a couple things affect restriction. One is the fin density or FPI as it's usually measured on radiators in particular. That is how dense the fin arrangements are. That is basically how much of the space where the fan would normally push air through is taken up by metal. So we've got examples here of radiators with low FPI or low fin density and we also have a radiator here with extremely high fin density. These are not, that's not to say one is better than the other, but it means that if you want to use a radiator with high fin density, one, there's more cooling potential to be had because cooling is not rocket surgery. It is basically the more surface area you can deliver and the more airflow you can move over it, the better it's gonna work. So more FPI is in theory better for performance. However, there's a point of diminishing returns when the restriction gets so high that you have to crank up the RPM of the fans to gain that performance. So you're better off just going with a lower FPI or a lower density and a lower RPM quieter fan. Now, there are other factors as well, the most important of which is the thickness. So there's that FPI-ness, how much of it is basically blocked out right, and then there's the thickness, how far does it actually have to push it through that restrictive turbulent area. And again, this applies to radiators as well as to heat sinks. Now we've got a radiator here that is a thin radiator, a slim radiator, and we also have one here that is a thick radiator. So you can, there's lots of research you can do online about the particular solution you're looking at. And you, what you have to find out is, is this a restrictive solution? Is this a non-restrictive solution? And use the appropriate fan. So we're gonna be taking a look at a few different fans on a Corsair H100. This is a thin rad and it is a low fin density rad. So we are going to use some super generic fans, the ones that I use on my test bench. I actually don't even know what fans these are. I haven't taken them off to check yet. And then we're gonna have a look at two of Corsair's new fans. The SP120 Quiet Edition, optimized for static pressure. By the way, that's probably the one that's gonna win. And the AF120 Quiet Edition, which is optimized for free-flowing scenarios, such as as an exhaust fan. We're gonna show you guys how important it can be to choose the right fan. So let's talk about our test bench, as well as the results of our first fan. So we're getting from 62 to 70 degrees. Okay, this is running in low speed noise on the H100, so the fans are plugged directly into the H100. This is on our X79 test bench, which means we have our 3930K CPU overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. We are using Prime95 as our CPU stress test, and I'm gonna correct that to 62 to 71 degrees, uh, depending on the core. So we're gonna compare that first against the AF series fans running in the same kind of configuration. These are both quiet edition fans, AF quiet edition and SP quiet edition. And then we're gonna run the SP fans and we're gonna see what kind of results we get. We haven't tested this yet, so stay tuned. So I found out the fans we were running were actually the ones that were included with the H100. So these are Corsair's older, more generic fans that we are going to be comparing against. So it's an all Corsair showdown, except for this huge Swiftech radiator here. Swiftech does custom water cooling though, which is sort of more different from uh, pre-done water cooling while well, they focused on custom water. Anyway, I digress. Um, the AF series fans that we have here are actually the performance edition ones, the high performance ones, the higher RPM ones because Slick apparently, um, yeah, put the wrong ones on the bench. And honestly, it's quarter after two in the morning already, so we're pretty tired. So we're gonna go with those. And that's gonna be an interesting examination as well because they're significantly louder. And then to compare against them, we're gonna take the Quiet Edition, and we're sure these are the Quiet Edition ones, we're gonna take the Quiet Edition SP120s and see how they compare. So these ones are running anywhere from around 15, or 59, sorry, to 69 degrees, which is pretty close to the original ones, except that they do run quieter than the original fan. So even the Airflow Edition ones are doing better than the old ones. Let's see how pressure holds up. 
So there you have it, folks. The pressure fans running at the same settings in terms of connecting to the pump and all that. <laughs> a, a fraction of the noise of both of the other solutions are yielding exactly the same temperatures. Actually, yeah, well, if you, depending on how you want to average it out. So almost exactly the same temperatures as the airflow fans running at a significantly higher RPM with significantly higher noise. I actually want to find a way to demonstrate for you guys exactly what a difference there is. So I'm going to, here, I'm going to take off my microphone and I'm going to hold it up to the pressure fans running on the radiator. I'm going to just, I'm going to kind of be quiet here for a second and then I'm going to plug in the airflow fans. I'm going to show you guys the difference that there is and maybe slick will fast uh, will fast forward between the two tests so he's sort of shrugging but i think he means yes so here we go So the idea is that we should have basically just like, um, like a like a crossfade to when I plug in the other two. This is going to show a big difference, right? Oh, right. Sorry, I should move it away because they're pretty loud compared to the pressure fans. So if that helps you guys, then uh, I, I hope this episode has enlightened you in terms of getting the optimal fans for your radiator or your heatsink or whatever else the case may be. Remember, guys, pressure for high density and airflow for low density, low restriction. Don't, thanks for watching NCIX Tech Tips.